Hi Leos, how you doing? It's Rachel Navy, aka Villaggio Strega, here with your weekly forecast. I'm doing a seven day outlook from January 22nd to January 28th, 2023. And let's take a look at what's in store for Leos on the collective. I apologize for my microphone and the, the vibration of the table here. Um, as I know, both can be a little distorted, um, but bear with me, it does clear up as the video goes along. And I just had one go flying. I heard a little bird go flying. So hang on a little bit. Oh, that's my one. All right. Sunday's starting out with Nine of Pentacles energy, which is awesome. That's the card of independence, self-reliance. I'll get back into that, though, in just a minute here, Leo, as we see the other cards come out. For the reading, please. Leo's on the collective. And guys, you can come check me out at... Bellagio Strega on Facebook and on TikTok, Rachel Navy here on YouTube, and traditionalhealer.com, where I offer metaphysical services, wellness services, divination as tools uh, for loving guidance, clarity, support in our lives. So here we are with the Emperor for Monday, the Eight of Swords for Tuesday. Wednesday is coming out with Temperance. Thursday, Seven of Pentacles. I just saw something similar. I think uh, Cancer just had Temperance on Wednesday as well. And the Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles were out. What else we see in here? I'm going to go grab that one too. Queen of Cups on Friday. That's what that is. Queen of Cups on Friday. Woohoo, there it is. Nine of Cups on Saturday. Saturday. Well, hello, Leos. Okay. What do we got here on the bottom of the deck? We have the moon. Moon card energy for the oral energy. I'll take a look at the bottom three of the deck here for you in your reading here for a continuation on the general energies here, Leo. But starting out with this nine of pentacles on Sunday. You know, that's about you. Just indulging, lavishing in your hard work, enjoying the fruits of your labors here on Sunday, Leo. Taking a break, maybe just enjoying your space, enjoying your quiet time, maybe surrounding yourself with things that are of the natural world, like plants, crystals, animals, things of that nature. Um, enjoying your spending because you like to spend, you like to treat yourself, Leo. Let's not lie. <laughs> so you're enjoying your spendings, you're enjoying your earnings. Um, just taking that quality time to do self-care is really what I feel like here on Sunday today. The Emperor is out. You could be dealing with an Aries here on Monday, uh, Leo, but the energy is all about control, what's controlling you or what control you have of your world. It refers to man's laws, construction. Some of you may be uh, redesigning a home or constructing some element to your home or dealing with laws and paperwork and things of that nature. Uh, judgments, of course, attorneys, legal fees, contracts, uh, perhaps on Monday. So be advised of that and remain in control. Eight of Swords is coming out for Tuesday. There it is. There's the self-doubts, the fears, the worries. You need to let go of those. Those are self-limiting beliefs. Um, it's not factual. This is not really how things are. That's just your self-talk. So try and try and talk yourself out of negative thinking, uh, negative doubts and fears about yourself. Have patience on Wednesday. You're dealing with Sagittarian energy with the temperance. Do things in moderation. Maybe keep a sense of tradition with them. That's all the energies of temperance. Just have some patience. Seven of Pentacles. Wondering when to cut your losses uh, versus keeping an effort, keeping investments in things. You've planted the seeds, you've done the work. Uh, you're, you're trying to perhaps perfect something here or watch something grow, nurture and grow, uh, but you may have some doubts going on. You may have some wondering as to when things are gonna pay off here on Thursday. Friday energy is be a compassionate listener or you're dealing with somebody who has some sort of wisdom to share with you, so listen up. Uh, the Queen of Cups represents somebody who, again, uh, listens well, is very compassionate, is very psychic in her own right, listens to her intuition, which we see in the Moon Cards energy here as well, and uh, is a very gentle soul by nature. So if that's not representing you, it's somebody you, you may be dealing with or somebody coming forward to you um, with that kind of motherly energy. 
Nine of Cups is present for you on the weekend, and there it is. You live for your weekends, don't you, Leo? Okay, and starting the week with a Nine of Pentacles or ending it with a Nine of Cups. Really, really, uh, your hard work is paying off. You enjoy your comforts. You um, may have a tendency to overindulge on Saturday, but you're enjoying life, and this brings you peace. So enjoy it while you can, for sure. The Moon card energy, the Ace of Pentacles, very nice. And the King of Wands, this is why you're happy. You're listening to your gut. You're going with your intuition on something uh, here, especially towards the start of the week. Paying attention to your hopes, your dreams. You may have had a hunch about something um, that was kind of like underneath the surface and, and nothing was really spoken, but you kind of felt it. Again, listening to your intuitions, right? See those two little heads popping out right there, kind of paying attention to it all. And the dogs usually represent... Again, hopes and fears of the situation. Uh, this is those secrets coming to the surface of things, right? Is it your enemy or is it something that you were really hopeful about? You know the answer at the end of the day, so nobody has to really tell you anything more than that. But the truth's coming out in a situation. Ace of Pentacles represents a new opportunity, maybe a new health resource, maybe a new financial resource or opportunity that's being presented to you. It's like, here's a gift. Enjoy it. And it comes with the King of Wands energy, who's all all about strategy, planning, uh, dreaming big, yes, implementing those plans, going after what it is he desires. He's very honorable too, by the way, uh, very committed to his passions, very artistic in a sense, loyal and loving. So an action oriented is the way of the King of the Wands, uh, which I can see you being, which is why you get to enjoy <laughs> your, your weekends here, Leo. Let's take a look at what the crows have to say. This is the Urban Crow Oracle deck. And I'll take three cards, please, for Leo. Release. Needing to release some sort of energy. Maybe you need an outlet. Um, as, you, as you work so hard or, or, or do whatever it is you do here. Maybe you need to talk something out here by Friday as well. But I really, this this Tuesday's uh, Eight of Swords energy is really what I feel that's re referring to. Scavenge. What else do we got for Leo's on the collective, please? There it is, balance. Yeah, work-life balance, health balance. Health will keep it, you keeping your health in balance, Leo. Um, again, releasing energy is okay. Um, you know, maybe something, something has, some cycle is closed out in your life, or again, maybe you need to talk something out. Maybe a secret is coming to light here uh, for you this week that you again ha kind of had a hunch about, but you're you're seeing it through. You know what you need to let go of, and you're doing it honorably. You're holding vigil for the moment, saying thank you for what was. Now it's time for me to move on. You're tapping into your resources. This is what a scavenger does. It looks around, it makes use of what others have left behind. And you're very good at that, Leo. Uh, you're very good at taking advantage of what opportunities are brought your way, as well as making the most of your resources and your environment. This is why the balance is coming in. Maybe you need to balance your work life, your with you know your everyday life, your habits, your beliefs in some sorts, your health and well-being. Uh, but it's calling you to take time to do that, take advantage of it, and again, enjoy your weekends. You seem to have a good balance about things here. Again, there may be a new opportunity coming in. Uh, don't overindulge in it. Definitely take your time here uh, with the process and believe in the harmony that you so, so speak. Very good, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, come check me out, Bellagio Strega. Blessed be.